We are going to disassemble Bitzel screw compressor. First of all, you should remove oil separator body from the compressor. And we did it. Now, the first part is oil filter. In this capacity, oil filter installed in this place. You should remove it. And then, oil separator. You should remove oil separator to access mechanical part. For removing oil separator, first of all, we should remove oil passage, tube of oil passage. And we have three two on regulator of a sliding system. And then we shoot these three two. This compressor smells like a sucks because gas and oil decompose. When compressor works in high temperature, oil and gas start to decompose. No. We can good access to opening these three screws to remove this part or separator. The second screw is here and the third one is here. We should open this to another screw. Now we can remove oil separator by pulling the oil separator. We remove this part and now we can access to a sliding system, bearing parts and after that we can access to rotors, male and female rotors. By removing these three screws, we can remove this part and this tube. This tube is supply of oil to the parts. And after removing this part, we can access to a sliding system in here.
this tube is for suctioning oil to the filter and this tube is supply of oil to the compressor to parts to bearing now we can remove piston of a sliding system piston and air spacer now you push the shaft and removing piston from this is piston of a sliding system it moves by a force of oil behind the piston is retaining a spring we remove it and the last part is stuck here this shaft transfer force of oil to the slider now we open it shaft of sliding system the next part is a regulator regulator of a sliding system we should open this part In this part, we have some oil passage and we have some hole in the cylinder. By these holes, we can supply oil to the cylinder and oil passage to the housing and we can change the capacity by moving these parts along the cylinder. Now we should remove cylinder of sliders by removing these screws. We have three bars in this part. One of them is under and two of them is off of this part. We can hammer, hammer of this part. And now we remove this part. And now you can see end of the rotors. This is femoral rotors and this is male rotor. Now we should remove these two parts. These two parts is groove knot. And then we should remove all these screws. Now we remove group knot by a special. Now we remove group knot by a special tool.
This is a group now. And lock rotor in one position and hold the bearing. All of them with this part. Now we are going to remove the of stator. Before that, we should remove this screw. This is a hexagon screw with a metal filter in This is a special screw with a metal filter inside for filtering oil because this rotor have a aligned hole and oil pass from this aligned hole and send to this roller bearing and this metal filter filter this oil and oil pass through this little hole at the end of the screw now we are going to remove this groove knot with a spacer for doing this job we use a special tools This groove knot and a spacer. After that, we can access to rotor. Now we can remove this part. This part is one of the most important part in a screw compressor. This is a discharge flange, and now we are going to remove it. Now we remove this charge flange with female rotor and male rotor. We remove both of them. Fit together. Now we are going to remove slider. A slider moves by piston shaft. And a slider move a line a line between two rotors female rotors and male rotors this part moves along this place for removing this part we should open this screw After opening this screw, we can remove it. This is a slider. And with this part, we can have a capacity control. This tube is guide for a slider and another job for this tube is passage of economizer gas to the slider. After 
Entering gas from this hole, gas exhaust from this six hole along the rotors. Now we are going to remove these two spacer. These two spacer have a one job. They retain roller bearing in one position. Suction roller bearing. Now we are going to remove them. This part. It's a spacer. For male rotor, another one, excuse me, for female rotor, another one that we are going to remove it is for male. 